Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, today we're uh, looking at a cool thing in Cubase called Expression Maps. So there's this thing in Cubase called Expression Maps that can really help uh, with changing sounds or keeping stuff more organized in your template. And we're gonna look at it today. But hey, if we haven't met yet, my name is Tomud and I run this channel called Sifter Studios. And on this channel, you'll find media composing tutorials, Cubase tips and tricks, and freelance lifestyle talks. So if that sounds interesting, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next video. So here's Cubase. Uh, let's add a instrument. Uh, let's add a contact. We, we can use contact. So here's contact. Um, let's load an instrument. I'm gonna load Albion 1, uh, which some of you guys might have. Let's load the strings. Okay, so we are here. Strings, we are playing. Okay, up and going, and we can change articulations by doing this. And... Right, and we can have longs. And we can do stuff. But we are gonna look at expression maps. You can find it over here expression map right now it says no expression map let's click that and click expression map setup and this window is showing so right here i'm just gonna explain it really simple you can add expression maps uh, locally to your project here and you can save them off if you want to use in other projects so if we hit load uh, on my uh, computer i have lots of different uh, expression maps for different sample library companies which i've saved off and I'm using uh, when I'm building a new template. And I've actually uh, saved all of these uh, in my Discord server as well. So if you guys would like to save some time on building uh, expression maps, uh, you can head on over there. The link is in the description below. But let's uh, make an expression map from scratch now. And let's hit the plus sign right here. We can uh, title it uh, Albion One Strings. You could replace this for whatever uh, instrument you would like to create an expression map for. Okay, so we have sound slots uh, right here and that would correspond to uh, the change you'd like to make to the instrument. So simply put, what an expression map can do is it can send uh, some info that you program to the instrument that it's assigned to. Uh, pushing a key, or it could be sending some CC data or doing lots of different stuff. And you decide what uh, that command should do in this output mapping thing. The articulations part right here, you kind of decide what it's gonna look like to you inside of uh, your editor afterwards. So we're gonna have a look at that as well. So let's get right into it. Uh, we have one, two, three, four, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different articulations here. So we'll create nine slots and let's go from there. So we can name them Spicado. I'm gonna name them. Okay, I've named them. Let's go into the settings. Uh, this will be individual per uh, library. Uh, we're gonna do a, another video on Spitfire specific expression maps using the CC32 UACC. Uh, so we're going to have a look at that uh, in a separate video. But for now, let's uh, stick to key switches. And if I remember correctly, I think Spitfire does C minus one as key switches. So if you haven't heard about key switches before, it's just a way to change sounds. And usually the keys are placed far away from the actual notes of the instrument so that they won't interfere with each other. Spitfire takes that a, a step further and C minus one is usually off the range of the keyboard. So if you wanted to use it, you would need to use the octave switcher and stuff. So especially with Spitfire stuff, it's cool to be able to switch these uh, quickly. So. Um, I want to program these, but I need to find out what uh, keys they correspond to. So in Cubase, if I want to know uh, what key is playing, for example, I can go to MIDI, MIDI inserts and MIDI monitor. And I'll play that. That's C minus two from C minus two and then chromatically upwards. So I'll assign this and uh, I'll do the first couple of ones and then I'll speed it up. But uh, 
for the first spiccato one, we know that this is C minus 2. So I'll add that. C minus 2. I could choose to uh, use a program change or a CC uh, message as well. Uh, right now, note on is exactly what we want. And I could further uh, tweak this by choosing the MIDI channel uh, and say how long it should be and how hard it should be pressed. And so you, you can do a lot of different stuff with this expression map thing. Right now we're looking at key switching. So C minus two, and that would mean C sharp minus two. Great, so we got the programming uh, done, and now we need to choose uh, what it's gonna look like inside of the editor in Cubase. So if we go to Spiccato, we can choose an articulation, and some of these we can find here. So, lengths, we can, we can do staccato uh, if we want that. And the reason I would use these is these will actually show up in the score editor as well. Um, usually I just do add custom articulation and then it's gonna show up here. And I can choose text and just, it's gonna show up in the score editor with text. And that's fine for 99% of the stuff that I do. Spiccato. I'm just going to duplicate the names and I can show you the other way for this one, pits. I'm going to do technique, pits, and then the description and the articulation is different right now. Colenio we can do long, I'm just going to do long. Now we've done the programming and we've chosen the articulations, so how it's going to show up in the editor. Let's create a MIDI region, double click it, uh, add in some notes, and if I select one note, I can now go to articulations and actually choose some of these. And uh, this is great that I forgot to do this because then you can actually see that not all of them are showing up here. However, if I were to open this up, articulations dynamics, here all of them would actually show up. I like for all of them to be here and to do that I need to go back to the expression map and set all of them to attribute. Now if I select anything articulation is white I can go in and change it. And some of these are hard, harder to read so uh, what you can also choose to do is to shorten these articulations so you can say spick something like that. Call L short says for sustain. They're still <laughs> still long, <laughs> but but you can sometimes uh, save a little space and declutter a little bit there. So the cool thing right now is that I can say note by note. I can change these and let's have a look. Look here and I'll hit play. And so on. So that's uh, how you do expression map programming and that's really, really handy. Um, I'm gonna show you one more thing, a bonus thing. There's this column here called remote, which actually lets you change the expression map uh, while you're playing or while you're getting ready to record something because there's no real way for the computer to know which, which uh, articulation you wanna use before you actually tell it. So you can either do that by using your own key switches. Uh, so this would be really handy if you want to program your entire template to work with one set of octaves. You don't wanna program the instruments themselves to do that. Then you could uh, go through every instrument and do that. Uh, I don't do that, that seems like a lot of work, but what I do do uh, is <laughs> to use program change messages. And the reason why is because I have a small keyboard that actually has uh, program change buttons on it. And I also have a bigger uh, 
keyboard that I've programmed some of the buttons to do program change messages. And so it's super easy. You just go to remote if you want to do program change. And you say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm gonna close that down and use my program changes. And now I'm using program changes. And if I close and open, uh, the numbers will uh, refresh. So I can actually spot which uh, program I need to be on, program change I need to be on for uh, me to have longs, for example. So now I know I'll have longs. Or I could do tremolos. And it's really handy to be able to do that just from the keyboard not go into, I don't, I don't need to have the instrument open at all. I can have the expression map open on my left side and I can just do. And then do. All right. So that's uh, uh, a, introduction to expression maps and all you can do as i said i have a lot of expression maps in my discord server uh, so be sure to check that out if you want some free stuff i'll be back soon with a new video uh, but until then remember that there is always gold in everyone